సుపెరిప్లానేటా అమెరికానా కాక్రోచ్ 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 సైంటిఫిక్ నేమ్ పెరిప్లానేటా అమెరికానా ఇట్స్ సైంటిఫిక్ నేమ్ పెరిప్లానేటా అమెరికానా అమెరికానా so the term periplaneta was given by the term periplaneta was given by burmester who coined the term periplaneta so the name of the scientist burmester so burmester coined the term periplaneta americana it is the scientific name of cockroach here cockroach is an insect cockroach is an insect it belongs to the phylum it belongs to the phylum arthropoda phylum arthropoda so arthropoda is the one of the major invertebrate phyla so arthropoda so why the cockroach belongs to the phylum arthropoda that means cockroach has jointed appendages jointed legs so the members of the phylum arthropoda includes jointed legged animals so arthropods means arthropods means jointed legged animals jointed legged animals so here one important area that is in the kingdom animalia arthropoda is the largest phylum arthropoda is the largest phylum in the kingdom animalia so why it is the, the largest phylum in the kingdom animalia that means in the living world in a animal world 80% of the animal species belongs to the phylum arthropoda that's why arthropoda is the largest phylum same way the cockroach belongs to cockroach belongs to the class insecta it belongs to the class insecta so why it belongs to phylum arthropoda it has the jointed appendages that is the reason cockroach belongs to phylum arthropoda so cockroach belongs to the class insecta class insecta the reason is that what the presence of two pairs of wings two pairs of wings and three pairs of legs this is one more reason three pairs of legs and the body is divisible into three parts so one more reason is what one more reason second one body division body division so body division is into three types one is one is 
head region the body is divisible into three regions or three segments one is head then second one second one is thorax second one is thorax so body is divisible into three parts head thorax and abdomen and third one is abdomen abdomen so body is divisible into three parts one is head second one thorax and third one is abdomen so this is the reason the cockroach belongs to the class insecta cockroach belongs to the class insecta so this is the brief information about the cockroach its scientific name periplaneta americana the scientific name is given by the scientist name burmester cockroach belongs to the phylum arthropoda reason is what the presence of jointed legs then arthropoda speciality is it is the largest phylum in the animal kingdom then cockroach belongs to the class insecta there are two reasons are there the presence of two pairs of wings on dorsal side three pairs of legs on ventral side then one more is body division body is divided into three tagmata body parts body parts are also known as tagmata tagmata so the body divided into three tagmata that process is called tagmosis here it is tagmata tagmata means body parts body parts then tagmosis tagmosis so tagmosis means body division process the process of the division of body into tagmata so this is a process of division process of division so that is now coming to now so cockroach so cockroach was a
yes now cockroach so cockroach was a nocturnal insect nocturnal insect so what is meant by nocturnal insect so based on the behavior of the animal the animals are classified into two types if they are uh, active during the nights that is called nocturnal animal so it remains active during the nights active active during the nights during the nights so cockroach was a nocturnal insect then coming to cockroach it is an omnivore it is an omnivore so what is meant by omnivore based on the feeding habits based on the feeding habits the animals are classified into nearly about 14 types here cockroach is omnivore that means if one animal it feeds on plant material that is herbivore the animal it feeds on the flesh that is carnivore the animal which feeds only fruits they are frugivorous and the animals which feeds on fecal matter they are coprophagous like that here based on the feeding habit term the cockroach was there an omnivore that means it feeds on both plant material as well as animal material so it feeds on feeds on both plant material plant material and flesh that is animal material plant material and animal material so based on the feeding habits cockroach is an omnivore like that cockroach is a cursorial insect cursorial insect so what is meant by cursorial insect cursorial insect means in cockroach there are two pairs of wings are present on dorsal side but it can fly with the help of only one pair of wings so it can fly over short distance because only one pair of wings are uh, helps in flight only only one pair of wings only one pair of wings for flight helps in flight right next up cockroach cockroach is a it is acts like a pest it is present in a damp places kitchens drainages etc all over the world that means it uh, is a cosmopolitan distribution it shows cosmo pollen distribution cosmopolitan distribution cosmo distribution based on the distribution of the animals are classified into two types cosmopolitan is one type discontinuous is another type so some organisms are particular to some places of the world that is what discontinuous distribution if they are distributed all over the world cosmos 
cosmos means universe so universally they are habituated in all the places that type of distribution is called cosmopolitan distribution cosmopolitan distribution right then cockroach yes so the cockroach is a terrestrial invertebrate it is a terrestrial invertebrate so why it is terrestrial invertebrate it is living on the land that means it can fly in air but it is without backbone it is without backbone that's why it is invertebrate okay so the terrestrial adaptation terrestrial adaptation is it due to right now coming to cockroach morphology the morphology of cockroach morphology the body of cockroach the body of cockroach is somewhat uh, elongated small in size small in size and elongated body with the two pairs of wings on dorsal side with the two pairs of wings on dorsal side so in male cockroach and female cockroach the wing nature is somewhat different see in males in male cockroaches in males the wings are wings are beyond the abdomen beyond the abdomen so that means so what the size of the wing is larger than females in females in female cockroaches in females the wings are equal wings are equal to the abdomen or body size equal to the body size right now coming to exoskeleton so here what we are knowing about this in cockroaches male and female are separate that means they exhibit they exhibit sexual dimorphism so cockroaches exhibit they exhibit sexual dimorphism so what is meant by sexual dimorphism sexual dimorphism means the identification of male and females by their external characters identification of identification of of males and females by their external characters 
So here one important area for uh, MSET as well as meat. In cockroach, the male are identified by, in one option he was giving anal styles, in second option anal cerci, third option three pairs of legs and fourth option two pairs of wings. These are the four options. If the correct option is the presence of anal styles. So, in male cockroaches, in males, only in males, only anal styles are present. Anal styles are present. So, these anal styles are absent in females. Yes, by having the anal styles, that is the male cockroach, the absence of anal styles is the identification of female cockroach. Then, now coming to exoskeleton. Yes. Exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. So the body is covered by the hard structures, the hard structure which covers the body on external side. That is what exoskeleton. In cockroach, the exoskeleton is in the form of the exoskeleton is in the form of chitinous so that is made up of chitin chitinous cuticle chitinous cuticle this chitinous cuticle is occurs in the form of sclerites the sclerites. Sclerites means plate-like structures. Sclerites means plates. So, these sclerites are articulated by these sclerites are articulated by a membrane. So, the membrane is very important for competitive examinations that articulation of sclerites by a membrane, that membrane is called arthroidal membrane, arthroidal membrane. This is very, very important area, arthroidal membrane. arthroidal membrane. So, that is important point for NEET uh, as well as MSET examination. In entrance examination, how you can ask a question about arthroidal membrane? In cockroach, the exoskeleton is in the form of chitinous sclerites. These sclerites are articulated by which membrane? One option, basilar membrane. Second option, tectorial membrane. Third option, arthroidal membrane and fourth option, reasoner's membrane. So, in these four, only one membrane is related to the exoskeleton of cockroach, that is arthroidal membrane. So, exoskeleton, the functions of exoskeleton, functions of exoskeleton. functions
functions of exoskeleton. So one function, one is a protection. The function is one protection. And second function, it prevent prevent the loss of water prevents the loss of water so why we are discussing about the second point uh, it prevents the loss of water cockroach is a terrestrial invertebrate just now we discussed that point there is no mechanism to drink water in cockroach but it need uh, the little bit of water for metabolic activities so by the oxidation of food by the oxidation of food the little bit of water is formed so that little bit of water is uh, carefully it can preserve it can conserve so that uh, in that method of conservation in exoskeleton one of the layers is epicuticle by epicuticle so one of the layers in a cuticle is epicuticle that epicuticle is a waxy layer waxy layer so that waxy layer prevent the loss of water that is one more thing then third function is third it provides it provides surface area it provides surface area for the attachment of muscles for the attachment of of muscles attachment of muscles so these are the main uh, three functions of the exoskeleton that is what exoskeleton now coming to body division body so just now we discussed one thing uh, the body of cockroach is divided into three parts the body is divided into three parts these three parts are called tagmata so in this One is the first tag matter was head. The head is composed by six segments. Head is composed by six segments. Then second tag matter thorax. Second tag matter. thorax it is composed by three segments in these three segments <coughs> in these three segments in 
these three segments. One is prothorax, the first thoracic segment is a prothorax, then second pro second thoracic segment meso thorax and third one meta thorax so these are the three segments in thoracic region prothorax meso thorax and meta thorax then coming to third one abdomen abdomen so abdomen consists of 10 segments 10 segments in adult stage so the total the body of cockroach is by 19 segments in adult stage 20 segments in embryonic stage adult stage 19 segments here between the head and the thorax See, between the head and thorax, there is a short neck is there, neck present between head and thorax. It is not a tag matter. It is not a tag matter. So, tag matter means body part. So, just a uh, it is the extension of prothorax. This very, very, very important point for neat. So, neck is a. It is an extension of prothorax, but it is not a tag matter. It is an extension of. It is the neck is also called as cervicum. It is also called as cervicum. Neck is otherwise called cervicum. But neck is not a part of tagmata or body. What is the the neck. In thoracic region, there are three segments are there. Prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. So, prothorax extension that is between the head and thorax, it gives flexibility to move around the axis of the body. Head moving with the help of neck region. That is what? Neck. Now, <coughs> now coming to the head. So, first tag matter we are going to take. Yes, first head. It is the first tag matter. It is the first tag matter. It is formed by the fusion of it is formed by the fusion of six segments. six segments and very important point uh, regarding competitive examinations that is the head of cockroach is a hyponathus head 
the head of cockroach is called hyponathus head so what is meant by hyponathus head right so the hyponathus means in cockroach the body is with three parts head neck there is not a neck head thorax and abdomen so the head of cockroach is arranged at a right angle suppose this is the head here this part is thorax and this part is abdomen head thorax abdomen so these three body parts not in a straight line the head is bent downwards that is towards the ground so exactly the head is arranged at a right angle to the body axis right angle to the body axis so that type of head is called hyponathus head so hyponathus head means hyponathus head means the head is head is arranged arranged at a right angle right angle to the body axis to the body axis so that type of head is called hyponathus head so the head comprises the appendages of the head now coming to the appendages appendages of the head one is mouth parts mouth parts then antenna a pair of antenna a pair of compound eyes a pair of compound eyes here in cockroach the type of mouth parts type of mouth parts are biting and chewing type of mouth parts biting and chewing type of mouth parts 